Music of the classical canon follows a specific set of voice-leading principles that privilege stepwise motion. In keeping with what we learned about human perception in the previous video, upper voices should move by the smallest distance possible, reserving leaps for special occasions. In this progression, the soprano and alto move by step, and the tenor stays on the same note. The remaining principles can be divided into two main categories, two-voice counterpoint and tendency tones. This video focuses on counterpoint. When two voices move in parallel unisons, octaves, or fifths, they sound as though they fuse together into a single voice, causing one perceptual voice to momentarily disappear. For those of you interested in music perception and cognition, this effect can be attributed to the auditory phenomenon of harmonic fusion. This leads to our second voice leading principle. No two voices should move in parallel unisons, perfect fifths, or perfect octaves. Note that this includes compound equivalents of these intervals, such as perfect twelfths. Parallel fifths and octaves can arise in many different progressions, but they're especially common in movement between chords whose roots lie a step apart, like four and five. In the first progression, each voice of the four chord moves to five by step, but not without creating parallel twelfths between the bass and tenor and octaves between the bass and soprano. In order to avoid these parallels, the soprano voice must leap down by third, as seen in the second progression. Despite containing a leap of a third, this solution is the most parsimonious option. It also maintains the essential independence of the outer parts. Whereas parallel octaves and fifths create holes in the texture by fusing two parts into one perceptual unit, Octaves and fifths in the outer voices of a single chord can also sound bare, depending on how they're approached. Consider the following example. Even though the outer voices don't contain parallel octaves, the octaves are approached by leap in both voices from the same direction. The combination of consecutive leaps, similar motion, and the hollow sound of an octave causes the octave to stick out, since leaps always call attention to what follows. The same principle applies to the perfect fifth, as seen here. One way to soften the accent is to move the most salient voice, the soprano, by step. In general, do not approach octaves or fifths in the outer voices by similar motion unless the soprano moves by step. Here's a summary of the general principles covered in this video.